My name is Lerone A. Martin. I am the Associate Professor of Religious Studies and the Martin Luther King Jr. Centennial Chair. And I'm also the Faculty Director of the Martin Luther King Research and Education Institute at Stanford University. My forthcoming book is entitled The Gospel of J. Edgar Hoover. It'll be published by Princeton University Press. And the book argues that the FBI aided and abetted the rise of white Christian nationalism and American life during the reign of J. Edgar Hoover from 1924 to 1972. And I make this argument in three points. First, that the FBI proselytized a certain kind of Christian nationalism within the FBI by having its FBI agents go through worship services and worship practices that established a certain kind of religious identity as being synonymous with American citizenship. The second point is by way of promoting religion. The FBI connected with conservative Christian groups in American history, especially white evangelicals, to promote white Christian nationalism as the only form that would keep America safe during the Cold War. And finally, by policing a certain kind of religion and citizenship in America. The FBI sanitized and endorsed a certain kind of white Christian nationalism as the only way to be a citizen, but also policed other forms of religion and politics in America, most notably by going after Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and attempting to discredit the civil rights movement, not as a Christian crusade, but as something that was other or a communist subversion. J. Edgar Hoover's religious history is fascinating. He was Presbyterian, he was very dedicated. His teenage diary is filled with mentions of preparing his Sunday school lesson. He was a Sunday school teacher and he was very adamant and passionate. He was a member of the cadets at his high school, but he would wear his cadet uniform to teach his Sunday school classes. And that, in the book, serves as a metaphor for his idea of how Christianity should be. It should be very orderly, it should be militaristic, it should be aggressive, and it should be very masculine. So his relationship to religion and politics is based on his upbringing in a Christian home. It was his understanding that America should be guided by conservative Christian principles. And in that sense, he was a Christian nationalist. So Hoover's Christianity was not just something about personal spiritual connection to the divine, but much more about morals and the life of, and the nation and how the nation should conduct itself. So for Hoover, Christianity was much more about being a moral custodian and the life of the nation and not just about his own personal relationship with the divine.